I'm Amy from Rock Your Body and today we're going to do about a 13 minute workout. We're going to do intervals of 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, four different exercises, just three rounds. Okay, so let's get warmed up first. Squat down with the arms out front. So when you squat, you push your bottom right back and when you stand, just start to really squeeze your glutes, your butt muscles firing up all those muscles to get nice and warm. Good, now start squeezing those shoulder blades too. So you're pushing the chest forward slightly while squeezing those back muscles. Good, so we're gonna do a couple of minutes warm up, then we're gonna go into the exercises and a little cool down at the end. Down and up, down and up, good. Now high knees, so one knee up, other. And then we're gonna to start to use our arms as well. This is similar to one of the exercises we do. Lift, lift. Now get that knee right up as high as you can, so maybe even as high as your chest, but certainly up to your waist. And then really crunch in with these out. So you bring the arms down and the chest down to meet the knee. Good, then keep going, but try and do it on your tiptoes. So you're up, off the heels, and build up a little bit of pace. Good, nice. A few more. And stop. Right, now if you just come down onto your knees, we're just gonna warm up the arms a little bit. So knee press ups. And you're gonna do real small movements. Bend the elbows, push up. Now with this position here, you need to make sure that your bottom doesn't push back at any point because here your weight is nowhere near over your arms. So you need to lean forward slightly, bend the elbows. Now it doesn't matter guys, if you go really low or if you're up here. If you're a beginner up here is absolutely fine because it's gonna get you used to doing the right form. Right, so practice this. We have one hand in the middle, one hand to the side. Press up, other hand in the middle, hand to the side, press up. This is your fourth, or oh, second exercise, I believe. <laughs> we'll go through it. Right, down and down. Just a couple more, get you used to that move. There you go, okay. Let me show you exercise number one. So one is what we call prisoner squat. So we have the hands behind the head. So you cross your fingers like this. We're gonna have the feet just a bit wider than hip distance and we squat down, okay? So that's exercise number one. Exercise two is those press ups. So let's get going. You've got 10 seconds and then I'll tell you the other two exercises as we get to them. Right, stand up tall, chest up. Two, one, go. So you keep your elbows wide. We're going nice and low. Now you can go as fast as you like and as low as you like, as long as you feel like you're doing a workout. So you can treat this first round as a bit of a practice round, so your body gets used to these moves. Down, up. Make sure your knees go in line with the toes, so if the toes are slightly pointing out, those knees have to go out too. Down and up. Good, well done, stop. Right. Now, put one hand in the middle, one hand to the side. This is walking press-ups. When the bell goes, get ready, and go. Walk, walk, press-up. Now you can do this on your toes. It really depends on your ability, but if you feel like your form is not very good on your toes, and you can go a little bit lower on your knees, then do that. Okay, you choose how hard you wanna work here. Keep moving, breathe, few more seconds. Nice, now stand up. Now we're gonna do the high knee skip. So you start with your arms here, and then we do this. Now you again can go as fast as you like on this one, go. And try and stay off the heels. So you're really getting the heart rate up a little bit on this one. And you bring the elbows down. Imagine, guys, you're doing a crunch on your back. So this is really nice for your core too. Keep going. 
After this one, we're going to hold the plank. Knees up. Are the heels still off the ground? There you go, stop. Now, it's not just any old plank. You're going to go wide. So your hands are wide and your feet are wide. Okay, so you're spread out. Go. So hands and feet. Give it a go on your toes. If that's too much, put your knees down, but wide. Okay? And then maybe every so often try and come up again. So straighten those elbows. Push away from the floor. And breathe. You're trying to iron out the lower back, so try and keep that fairly straight. Stop! Right, that's your four exercises done. We're going to do them again. So now you know what you're doing. Hands behind your head. Prisoner squats. Go. Up. Now we can go a little bit faster now. Now we've warmed up. Down and up. And we can go lower. Down and up. Stay with me. We're trying to get the heart rate up. So you've got to get a little bit of speed in there. But your pace might be different to mine. As long as you're feeling like you're doing something, that's all that matters. Stay with it. Stop. Good. Right, walking press ups. So get one hand ready in the middle, one hand to the side, then we walk. Okay? Go. Walk, walk, press up. You might want to put some padding under the knees if you're on your knees. Now just see here. Can you go a little bit lower out of your comfort zone? Those of you who are beginners to press ups, or you feel them, find them really tough, make sure you are bending the elbows and rocking down. So you're taking the hips down too, but you're not sagging at the waist. Stop, arms up. You're gonna get ready for these knee ups. So we're gonna come off the floor with the heels, with the balls of the feet. Let's go. So breathe. Now remember, you go as fast as you can on this one. We're getting that heart rate up. Maybe getting some sweat on. Good. And you can start to jump a little bit more. How's it feeling? Are you warm? You are close to the bell going. Nearly there. Stop. Right. Let's go wide plank. Wide with your hands. You can point the fingers out if you want. It just gives me a little bit more grip on this floor. Go. So with your back, make sure your bottom isn't up like this. Rock forward. Your weight should be over those wrists. Your chest over those wrists. Good, pull the kneecaps up on the legs. Strengthen those legs. Now, you might find that this happens, your bottom pops up. Iron out your lower back, tuck that bottom in a little bit and that'll work your core a bit more. Stop! Right, one more round of all the exercises. This is it now. Prisoner squats, hands behind your head. Go. Down, up. Now, see if you can squeeze those butt cheeks at the top of the movement. Yes. Really working the glutes as well as the thighs. You're going to be feeling that on the tops of the thighs. And squeeze those shoulder blades together slightly so your elbows stay wide. That's really working your core a little bit more. Stop. Walk in press ups. So no more squats today. Get ready. Maybe try a couple on your toes. I'm going to start on my toes this time. Go. So you can do a couple, see how you find them, and then you can always come down to your knees. So whichever one feels like you're doing something for your body, if it doesn't feel quite right, just slow it down, adjust, but keep moving now. Remember this is your last round, you've got five more seconds, then no more press ups today. Yes. Okay, high knees. Get ready with the arms up. This is important because those of you with a lack of coordination, <laughs> it's hard to get this right. And actually, 
to be honest, it doesn't really matter where your arms are. Just move. Good. Now breathe. Lift the knees up. You can move around your room if you want to, if you've got some room. Can you pick up the pace just a little bit? You've got five seconds. Nearly there. Don't stop until the bell goes. Stop. Right, now you've got wide plank. So get ready. Finish on this one. So this is your last 30 seconds. Go. Tuck your core in. That's tucking your bottom in, so it's ironing out your lower back. Rocking forward, so your chest is over the wrist. Breathe. How's this for you guys? Push away from the floor. You have got six seconds. <laughs> Don't let that stop you. Hang on in there. Yes! Good work everybody. You are done with the intervals, but stay with me. Let's just have a stretch. So have the legs wide. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good, breathe in. This is especially important if you've got to put where you're panting, which if you've put in a lot of effort, you definitely will be. In, one more of these. In, good, out. Now just forward fold, so chest and head up towards me. Hopefully guys, you're gonna be feeling this on the backs of the legs, the hamstrings. You really push your bottom back and up towards the sky. And you can either have your hands on the floor, or your shins, or your thighs. But just make sure it's a really light touch. Lean towards one leg. How's that feeling? And then the other side. Now please do guys, hold these stretches for longer if you really feel this. But it should always feel nice and stretch. Not stressful, not painful. Back to the middle and come up. Let's stretch those quads. So grab your foot, I'm sure you've seen this stretch before. Knees together, hips forward. Just really push this leg forward so you feel that stretch in the quad, in the front of the thigh. Good. How does that feel? Let's switch sides. So you did it guys, and the reason we go from lower body to upper body, lower body, upper body, there is a good reason for that, and that's because the heart is having to work really hard to pump your blood from the lower body to the upper body and down and up again, which means you'll be burning more calories. So it's really good, even though it's such a short workout, it's so effective for calorie and fat burn. So arms forward here, so you really don't have to spend hours in the gym. You can do it in a much shorter, more manageable time. Reach up, head up, and then circle around, guys, to stretch your chest. So I'd love to know in the comments below if you felt like you've done a workout. Do you feel like you rocked your body? How was it for you? Let me know, guys, and I will see you on the next video.